grace and hope with us forever. This is Richie Reed Panther, and I'm putting out the eternal quest, your job can save mankind. Now, a lot of my videos are no longer going to be available. They'll be turned into text and audio, and you'll be able to download them at some point. So, with this, I would like to let you all know how your job can save the world, what the eternal quest is in regard to God's kingdom, and I'll start very simply by, you must be holier than religious writers. A lot of people will hear what I say and they won't write down, like I put in the last video, to write your spirit, and that's where the Bible came from. People wrote down what's happening in their hearts and in their minds and in their relationship with God, and it influenced all the nations of the world. So, with this idea of God's kingdom, the eternal quest, and how your job can save mankind, I'm going to go over three brief sections before showing you exactly what I do for the fruits or the productivity, which could be the kingdom or even a business, for our God. And what confirms actually dealing with the spirits that are of God and the spirit of God, whether it's text-based or not. Experience. So, first off, you should know that we have to worship and serve God in the spirit. That God is spirit. And he has a kingdom. This is what we should seek first. Now, the idea of spirit is more that it's visions and dreams, such as daydreaming. It's been said, if you just believe, nothing is impossible with God. So in your heart and your mind, you can create. And this can undull the hearts of men. You've seen it in Hollywood. You've seen it in anime and manga. And this is actually the job of a Christian. God's kingdom has a word called Elohim. It's a plural word for a singular form. So, I am, that is myself, and many different others, is Elohim, and it's essentially God's kingdom. If you want to know God, you're to go into nature. We can see all the different things in nature have veins of some sort. They produce time and time again. God himself is self multiple. And if we're doing in our hearts and minds something like him, the word apotheosis is known for, then we're creating like this. Or something better, something different. All the shrubs, all the leaves, the trees, different plants, fruits, animals, created beings, elves, all this sort of stuff. They all have veins, and water is necessary for all of them, as Jesus would talk. You have to be born of the spirit and water. This also means we have to put water into space because the spirit, which is holy, used to be a synonym for intelligence, which would lead us to living forever and going into all of creation, which is the heavens above us. Eventually, we have to get earth water up there and maybe get some stuff down from there. Now, this job of God's kingdom is that it should be preached. And I'm gonna do some more explanations on God's kingdom. But it undulls the hearts of men, and you're going to see an example of what I've created for you. You've got to be like a child, and you've got to be very holy, man. People who come before you are kind of liars, thieves, and it was taken by force. You know, we can think about Thor, those who role-play vampires and werewolves, and they're often fighting to gather loot. I work for God and seek His reward, so I actually have a massive amount of heavenly treasure that allow abilities, much like Jesus did. Jesus was the king of God, or Christ, as the translation is. We're supposed to follow and come after him. Now, dealing in the spirit kingdom of dreams, visions, daydreaming, which is out here on the earth as well, influence. We have to be able to work for Jesus, yes, but to come after him. And many will come after him and be deceivers. This is a spiritual thing. When your heart and your mind is in search of the heavenly kingdom and you're looking for Christ, you can know if it's the right spirit you're dealing with by if he brings up the commandments. The commandments of God, bringing them to remembrance. 
and least. So I'll talk about that as well. The heavenly kingdom is above us, and there are 12 constellations that people have made or anthropomorphized the stars. And these stars have been used to tell time. Looking out into space with telescopes, we can see stars from thousands and millions and millions and millions of years ago because it takes a while for light to reappear here. Our Earth is projecting from the light that reflects off out into space what has all happened in the past, and it's traveling for anyone who would view it. Same as the stars are coming out and doing to us, and it takes a long time even though light travels really fast because the universe is so vast. So from that perspective, the heavenly kingdom is being projected now from the past to those in the future, the past that was. Now, so being like God is kind of like being self-multiplying, making many plants, serving in the spirit of holiness and animals and such. He said at one point, if I cast out demons by the power of a demon lord, then Satan's kingdom is against itself. And it's at an end. Because they said he was using the power of demons, but if I cast them out by the hands of God, if God's kingdom is here, the finger of God, whatever. You know, he reaches out to do it. If you have faith so much as a mustard seed, this is filled, filled with faith. It's not just in the heart and mind. You have to put it on the earth. And it's so small, you can carry it. You know, one little button connected to a computer can drop a bomb for God. As an example, some bring the fire, some bring the sword. Blessed are those who make peace and such. Now, in the heavenly kingdom, we were previously taken by force, so being super holy is awesome. Seeking God's reward for making things of creative value and getting paid for telling people about this. As you'll have an example from me is the best way to go instead of fighting to gain treasure from demon lords. Come on. God likes to make stars, planets. Be like him. Be as holy as him as Jesus is teaching, actually. Now, the third point that I'll go ahead and rattle off here is don't give what's holy to the dogs and be careful what you say to other people. Because if you haven't judged someone's merit for this to be accepting of it and right of it, and you start telling them that I am 60 million different plants and an XX highbrow cross unicorn that has 500 million different lives, it's this for many eternities, they may turn and attack you for being dogs and pigs who have not work this. They will bite the hand that is feeding them. And they even have a name for it nowadays called multiple personality disillusionment so that they can do such a thing. But blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. This is the kingdom of God. You might end up with some kind of uh, stipend and very uh, easy to get by because they say you're crazy and defame your name as Jesus says they would. So. Then there is the law of God. Now this law of God, and writing this stuff down is important. Writing, rewriting, and remembering, and being holier than just a writer, such as using a computer, which I'll get to. So, with the law of God, we know it's to love God with all that you have. But if you are truly doing that, you may know more things than just one and two commandments. That is, commandments like, we're supposed to go into all nations with God's kingdom, as I'll reveal to you how that's done. Love God with all you have. Serving with our spirit, kingdom. For example, if there's a nature spiritual service person here, like a druid, and the holy kingdom is there blessing them, and they have green ears and they pop up out of the woods and fly into a little flower, to hide in there like a fairy because they've gained these type of merits, faithfulness, works, you know, all this sort of stuff like you get paycheck or as physics would call it, uh, force times distance. 
and that's actually got a momentum to it as well. I think that's power running off of it. So. Another commandment would be to pray ceaselessly you're worthy of resurrection from Jesus. And this is more than just asking God this all the time. This is always thinking, always having it on your heart, how it can be done. Thinking about the different amino acid chains, the different blood types that are influenced by different chemicals. As I said, we have to be holy. You know, heal the sick, of course. Meditating on this is simply praying, and you can do this easily by visualizing. I like to do it with, on my wrist, I launch out a bird that flies from my white wristband, and it's fun to always be praying because the bird will assist me. Essentially, I create an angel, and I speak it into existence like God does, and I bind it on earth. Along with praying and keeping the commandments that you can tell is a spirit of God if they bring up things like this, and there's over 600, 6,000 of them. We're supposed to make useful gifts, as the prophet Isaiah had said, we tire of the full moon parties and the feasting and all this stuff. God wants you to make useful gifts, such as medicine, tools, using the computer programming, machines that can help transplant blood and bone marrow. Bring honor to your family, is one you may have heard. Take dominion of the earth, which can be done instead of just warring, you know, like uh, befriending the animals, befriending the plants, going and lacing plants with all types of soils and such to take dominion and make it better. And love your neighbor as yourself. That is 50% of your wealth. If we're sharing what we want unto us with the others, as we do for ourselves, then we can bring this whole humanity to a greater salvation of the world and love and not be pulled by greed. Because we all have this job now to preach this kingdom that can awaken the hearts and minds, as I will tell you. So I'll let forth the parable because Jesus always teaches with a parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a land where a king sets servants. We're given authority over the floor to keep it clean and orderly. In time, some became great upon the floor, from building upon the floor, while others became subservient to them who had built. But still, some were faithful. Those great with much building and many servants grew to love power over the servants and became greedy, warring, while many servants slacked off and the floor would become crowded and cluttered with buildings and trash. Some few servants would be faithful to the king, doing just as they were asked, and even encouraging the others away from the builders' desires while informing the king of their deeds. So when the king returns, upon his way he gives power to the servants who remained to clean the floor and do what they said and were faithful unto him. And all the buildings were cut, burned to ash, while the faithful were set above to rule and do what was right on the floor with what remained and build anew. So, in summary, we're supposed to pray ceaselessly that we're worthy of resurrection. We walk, talk, eat, and sleep the commandments. That's an Old Testament commandment to eat and talk about the commandments, sleep, talking about the commandments, when you're following the street. It's very loving and family-like. And while you're walking along the way, often I just meditate upon this in my mind or pull a recording out or start typing because we're living in very hard times. And we're supposed to share God's spirit kingdom of love, serving Him with immortal science, as I've brought up. Now, I'll go ahead and explain to you what it is that I mean by this heavenly kingdom now. Aside from loving God with all you have, working for Him, as the commandments had said, and loving your neighbors yourself, sharing your wealth with your neighbor. If they have a house, get them to share their house with you and go upon all the neighborhood and then carry that into all nations, going to one town and three towns and five towns, so that this can become like a kingdom, as it is a kingdom, and even greater so. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story 
of F in regard to how I share the heavenly kingdom. Here goes. This is going to be available for anyone who wants to view it, and my videos will not be around much longer. Eth was not a man, nor was Eth a god. Eth was a maker, and his number was seven. He sat alone for seven eternities before making the seven angels of the seven senses. These angels were conceived within their own realms, without knowledge of one another, and thus bore a unique character in their identities. As time went on, Eth made known his desire for unity, to work as one body, and called the desire love, and gave it the number four. He commanded love for three eternities, and then revealed the creation of three more angels. These new angels were unlike the original seven, as they were born into love. However, they were like the first seven, and that they were brought up in their own realms. The seven angels of the seven senses worked in the body of Earth, known as the realms, each giving their unique gifts to the world. You, the angel of sight, develop brilliant light to tie together the realms, but failed to do so on his own. Echo, the angel of sound, stayed close to Eth, and thus heard his inner workings while listening. Echo learned the wisdom of voice, and spoke the first word, which is love. The other angels heard this word, and had not the wisdom to understand. The elder seven angels seemed great with might in comparison to the angels born in love. All but one angel received sound with joy. The eighth angel, the Dvar, whom echoed with fear. Gaval, the ninth angel, attempted to console his brother Edvar, by speaking peace to him. Edvar resisted again, then having raw anger out of his fear. Immediately, the tenth angel Malekith spoke with glory in their tongue, outside even the Maker's understanding. I guess we're all a lot alike. Living light burst from the sound of his voice, granting the wisdom to understand love. Then Malekith's glory shone forth to all the angels, and as they were humbling themselves to him, Edvar burned with jealousy. Malekuth took pity on his brother, Edvar, raising him to the position of truth keeper, and gifted the power to use truth and as a weapon. When Edvar received the truth, he clothed himself in darkness, attempting to hide his devious nature from the other angels. With this perversion, Malekuth asked Zanar, the angel of will, and only female angel, to keep watch over Edvar. But Edvar deceived her by declaring himself the inventor of truth, convincing her that Malachi was to strip her of her nature in a time to come. She knew the intentions of Malachi were good, and found truth in the words of Edvar. Seeking to save herself, she asked Ed to make her new when the time would come. When Eth agreed to do so, she willingly offered to give herself to Malachi. However, it was not he whom she was communing with, but it was Edvar in disguise. After stripping her of her power, Edvar abused the power of will to tempt the other angels into rebellion. Edvar had used the mistakes of the other angels with cunning to build a world for himself to rule from and take vanity 
from the idolization of his corrupt creation. Meanwhile, Malakuth worked in secret with Eth to renew Zanar. They bestowed her with the quality to bear life into a world now known as Ethmoid. The new living creatures were called the Chalet, the children of Eth, and were the first to be born into physical matter. Edvar's perversions grew sicker, and he began to lust after the Chalet, hoping to rule all of creation by them. So he retreated into his own world, now known as the Advarian Dark Space. There, he used his influence over the angels to taint the Chalet. Some Chalet were noble, they did not give in to temptations. Others, through their faults, were children of iniquity, who turned into wild beasts vile things. Among these creatures, the evilest of them are known as Vulpin, with their offspring being like vampires, gargoyles, and lichens. However, to the noble Chalet were born men and Agassi. While men consider themselves the perfection of Chalet, the Agassi speak in the tongue of Malachi. Though the Agassi are secret to those whom they've deemed worthy and prophesied the coming of a king of all worlds, they cannot procreate in the normal way a human would consider. The prophecy of the king tells of a war for human souls fought on three levels, the physical, the spiritual, and the eternal. Souls won by Advarian forces shall be used to construct a soul barrier which will block the voice of Malakuth from the world. Then, Malakuth will be born into Athmoid, and good forces will break the soul barrier. Then, bring the shards to Malakuth. Another prophecy states, From the world of light he will leave, and throughout the ether they will dance, in a cloud they will rest, and from the manna he will hail. He will gather them all together, and the war will be won through the vine. Let more it all. Note, Malakut is not Jesus, and this is an old world legend that some would consider science fantasy or fiction. Jesus is also known as Yeshua in the world of men. But among the Augusta, he is simply called Alwi. I guess we're all a lot alike. The seven angels of the seven senses are Eu, the angel of sight. Echo, the angel of sound. Sunu, the angel of smell. Tiku, the angel of taste. Tokar, the angel of touch. Zanar, the angel of will, and Minar, the angel of mana, or living light force. So, with this about the heavenly kingdom, just saying the stories can influence generations far, far, and grant great power by seeking God's reward, opening the hearts of men and awakening them to something greater than just television would be. Having watching me, have you participated? Have you written things down? Have I been able to have words and share with you actual heavenly treasures that you can lay up, made from the spirit, to have an influence on the environment around us? Generally, no, but you can. So, being holier than this, you can find things such as the computer programming devices, where I would show you an example of how simple it is here. 
you open it with an HTML viewer or some kind of text viewer, just a text document. By getting off of the internet, you will know how computers work if you have one and learn to use it. That is, they have a command prompt, they read text documents. You go into the command prompt, type help, get into the commands, and you can use them for great things instead of just wasting your time with what others have made out of choppy, sloppy programming, because you learn space management and such as well. So building with a text document and some type of viewer, you can see something so simple as how I put the uh, angelic planes in an S variable, and then in parentheses, Eo, Echo, Takar, all of these planets based on the angels, and then S var space, so I made space. And then the Advarian dark space, then I call the zones angelic planes, space, Advarian dark space. And then I create the class of zones. So this type of programming is actually very simple. It just adds on to each other, they get connected, and you end up figuring out how to run them in compilers. You can learn from Java or Python. I created my own language, knowing Java, Python, C, and a few other languages, so that I can encrypt it and speak in many languages. But there are many rewards, special gear, simple enough to make your world and put it out there, having faith that manifests, such as a mustard seed, and can move a mountain. In fact, with an occult phenomenon, or a cult phenomenon, a cult fiction, a cult movie, and people involved in it, sharing what I often talk about being like 10%, uh, like the church says, I save 10% for the hypocrite church and 10% for whatever church lives with me. That way I can fulfill all righteousness and whatnot. But this is my tithe bag, you know? I just save that 10% for the church and me and whatever it is. And these are the geometries, as God is a mathematician, that I use for the Eternal Quest game and actual building blocks of matter are somewhat like this stuff, believe it or not, though they are different in many small aspects, but I like to put these together and pretend there are atomic forces, molecular forces applying between them that the numbers have certain values like number four for love and all that such. They each have different values and meanings in the way that you can be like a kid and such. So I'll show you another example of this here. You can download an app. Khan Academy is not a great place to start for programming, but C++ can learn it. And then there's CXX Droid, which I have. And this allows you to open up a compiler, as that says right there, interpreter, terminal, compiler, so that you can run your own programs in here and you can open a bunch of different texts get examples like this one, color C, in curses, and it explains by reading this and figuring out how it works that you can run these programs very simply. You can learn best by reading and downloading things. It comes with a bunch of them, so that you can uh, go through settings, terminals, install libraries. Learning the libraries is good, but that's other people's stuff. You should really learn it from your own very easily. But yeah, that's the simplicity of all that. Now, another program I show you, basically just to start this out, aside from a compiler, you can also use CMD EXE, which is in your uh, Microsoft Windows computer or whatever that is. I use Notepad++ instead of a regular Notepad, where you can open up a whole bunch of different notes in the same Notepad, and they have understandings for programming stuff in it, so that it looks better and is awesome. So, by using Note++, you can create all types of stuff like uh, genome assembly, God science, all, all this stuff where you just uh, write notes in it like a regular notepad oh. and export it out to your other things. And you have faith that it's actually greater than a mustard seed. Aside from that, just doing the kingdom of God and preaching it, you should also know that the kingdom of heaven, as a finality on this video, is like a merchant man in search of fine pearls that we go and sell all that he has to buy one pearl fine value we live as a very free type of people by being traders if you want to make money be a trader we're absolutely free we pick up many different things from AT&T phone sales to Comcast Xfinity Energy we'll sell you on Planet Fitness from the thing they got there pick up a newspaper 
add five hundred dollars to the cars in them from five different towns and sell these cars each tell them we want the money for it and i sold your car man all this type of stuff trading stocks as we're advised by jesus to do and so also the kingdom of heaven is like a seed sower no nope, i have found right here a berry tree so if you want to eat plant seed With all that, we're commanded to live this type of lifestyle. A little different, totally free. Maybe work two hours a day, work all day. We're always working in our heart and mind, praying Jesus like.